Alright folks, welcome to the channel Skins for Life. We're the hat, bleeds, burgundy, and gold. Now, this will be a Madden 12 impression review. It will be a short review because obviously I don't have Madden 12 showing in the screen. Obviously that's all Pro Football 2K8. But the fact that I'm playing it lets you know that I still am not sold on Madden 12. I do recommend that it is a rental because I do believe that it has improved over Madden 11. Um, that is what I'm saying. I like I like how the fact that in real life Jay Cutler has no line and it shows in that game. But they still have to clean up the animations. They have to t provide better transitions into these animations. I've seen too many um, plays where the linebacker will jump or a corner will jump, and they will um, they'll start putting up their hand, and then they'll bring up the other hand, and they'll shift into that area to be able to knock it down with their other hand. Um, obviously for an explanation and no visualization of that <laughs> that play folks won't know what I'm talking about but those that have seen it happen and have taken a deeper look at it will understand what I'm talking about but I do recommend that Man 12 be a rental before you get I'm like, they're always gonna nail the presentation aspect I they've always nailed that so that's that's nothing new so kudos to EA for nailing the presentation again um, it is interesting to see what they do with, with the franchise I like the fact that there's increased roster size and there's cut down days so you have to make decisions on players there's no more holding on to players they, they cleaned up the injured reserve thing so you know when you put some on injured reserve, that frees up a roster spot. And obviously that was built in because they were able to increase the roster size. So I wish they would have did that. And I believe they did that before. And they just took it back out. And I don't know. There's constant back and forth with putting in features, taking out features. That, that gets to me. But who knows. Well, the ultimate game will be Madden 14. Because Madden 13 will be another step. Madden 13 better have real-time physics. Let's just say that. Let's just start right there. Madden 13 better have real-time physics. NHL 12. FIFA 12. NBA 2K 12 is heading in that direction. I named the first two because those are EA Sports titles. that have gone real-time physics. NBA Elite fell flat in their face when they tried it. I don't know what they were thinking. Not because they were trying to go to real-time physics. I commend them for that. But they have to hopefully make that game play a lot better than it did when the demo came out. And we all know what we got in that demo. <laughs> so I'm not even going to go there. But Madden 13 better have real-time physics. Now, just... just uh, to catch up on the gameplay here in All Pro Football 2K, you seen that diving animation by Malcolm Kelly. Basically, he did that on his own. I didn't have to press a button. It, you know, that feature in NCAA 12 where if you control the receiver, if he catches it, you press a button and he'll dive. For what? I've heard one commentator sit there and say, well, "If you have a wide open field, why would you want to press it?" I believe that receivers awareness should play a factor whether they should dive for a ball or not. And all pro football and that play with Malcolm Kelly um, shows that he was aware enough to know the ball was far out of his reach if he didn't dive. So he dove for the ball and caught it. End of story. Um let's see what else was early and another thing I had missed from early in this gameplay was the formation shifting that used to be in Madden why is it not back in Madden that is a strategic element of the game to fool defenders into thinking one thing and you doing another it's just like calling audibles audibles aren't the 
are not the only thing that uh, that fools defenders. How about this? How about disguising coverages? This game was I'm like ESPN 2K5 did it first. All Pro Football did it next. Those are the, to my knowledge, and somebody could please correct me if I'm wrong. Those are the only two games that you can purposely, like right there, disguise coverage. Now that was a computer doing it, but the fact that the computer did it as well, I do it. The computer does it. The only thing the computer doesn't do is formation shifting. That's the only thing I have a problem with in this game. But if the computer would do the formation shifting. Man, this game, if it if 2K ever makes another football game, and that's another thing, 2K needs to make another football game. There's no reason for them to not have a football game right now. Not so much mad at EA Sports. They're making football games. They have the NFL license. They're making NFL football games. But there's no reason for 2K to not make a football game. So, so there's there's a lot of stuff in this game that if folks would just take the time and get to know the game. A lot of folks didn't do it when it first came out. That's one of the reasons why it didn't sell that great. Maybe the game was too complicated for folks. Well, that's the folks' problem. That's the consumer's problem. If the game's too complicated, it came with an instruction manual. Matter of fact, let me just interrupt that right there. That play right there shows control. The play, the touchdown with uh, Anthony Armstrong, that showed control over a situation. The pump fake was authentic. The reaction to the pump fake was authentic. And then the play played out the way it played out. But, um, but I'm going to wrap it up right here. Uh, like I said, uh, this is Skins for Life. Wear the hat. We'll always be burgundy and gold. And as you can see, the burgundy and gold strikes first. As we did against the Steelers in the preseason action. We beat them 16-7. to Steeler Nation can go to hell home because DC will always be home to the burgeoning gold. Peace.